2e my best friend 1 vocabulary match the opposites opposites if two things or two people are opposites they are very different from one another like this boy and this boy very different opposites like hot and cold match and then listen and check your answers now I will match them for you listen and repeat after me a chubby boy chubby now is chubby the same as fat yes you can say fat but fat is not a nice word if you want to be nice you say chubby not fat slim a slim boy long hair short hair a tall boy a short boy a young man an old man fair hair and dark hair what does fair mean fair means close to white in color dark means close to black in color i can say fair hair or fair skin that means not dark close to white now notice something did you notice that we have a a a a an a but with hair we have no a uh, or an why hair is an uncountable noun when we say a hair that means a single one just a single one like this we say a hair there is a hair in my soup but if we have more than one we say hair not hairs no just hair uncountable noun now i want you to know the difference between long and tall are they the same no they are not tall means going vertically long means going horizontally going this way let me give you an example look at the tree is it a tall tree or a long tree again look it's a tall tree what about the road it's a long road do you get it a tall man a tall building a tall tree listen look at the pictures and describe the girls when you describe the girls you tell how they look like their appearance you answer the question what does she look like what does she look like that means describe her describe how she looks a this girl is short not tall and chubby chubby and short she's got fair hair this girl slim and short she's got long dark hair this girl is slim and tall she's got long dark hair now listen to a mother and a daughter talking what does wendy's new best friend look like wendy is the daughter which of these girls is wendy's friend choose picture a b or c now listen what does wendy's new best friend look like choose picture a B or C. Hey Mum, can I go to Brooke's house on Saturday? Who's Brooke? Mum, Brooke is my new best friend. New best friend? Yes, she's also in my class. What does she look like? Has she got long fair hair? No, she's got long dark hair. Long dark hair? Oh, is she tall? No, she isn't. She's short. Oh, I remember her. She's chubby, right? No. She's slim and very beautiful. 
Ah, oh, now I remember her. So? Can I go to her house and play? Hmm. Go and ask your father. Mom! Did you find out which of these girls is Wendy's best friend? Let's read the listening transcript together. Hey, Mom. Can I go to Brooke's house on Saturday? Who's Brooke? Mom! Brooke is my new best friend. New best friend? Yes. She's also in my class. What does she look like? Has she got long fair hair? No. She's got long dark hair. Long dark hair? Oh. Is she tall? No, she isn't. She's short. Oh, I remember her. She's chubby, right? No. She's slim and very beautiful. Ah, now I remember her. So? Can I go to her house and play? Hmm. Go and ask your father. Mom! I remember her means I picture her in my head right now. Now this is Wendy. Wendy's friend has got long dark hair. She is short and she is slim. Slim, short, long dark hair. This is Wendy's friend. This is Brooke. Her name is Brooke. Speak. Guessing gay. Who is it? Student A. Choose one of your classmates, like Habib as an example, but don't tell student B. Now, student B, you ask questions to find out to know who student A has chosen. The student that uh, student A is picturing in his head. Now, ask questions. Is it a boy? Yes, it's a boy's school. So, yes, it is. Has he got long dark hair? Long dark hair? No, no, he's got short dark hair. Hmm. Is he slim? Look at him. He is not slim. He is chubby. Is it Habib? That's correct. Well done. Good job. You're right. Four, speak and write. Read, which of the topics below, these are the topics. A topic is a subject that people talk about. Does the boy mention about his best friend? Mention, that means he actually talks about. Does he talk about his friend's age, how old his friend is, what he can do? Does he tell us about his name? What he looks like? What he looks like means he describes him. He talks about his appearance, his favorite sport, his favorite computer games, his clothes, like if he wears jeans, t-shirts, his pet, like if he has a rabbit or a snake, nationality, if he is Saudi, he is American, he is French. Now read with me. This is Ahmed. He is 11 years old and he's my best friend. Ahmed is short and slim. He's got dark hair and brown eyes. He's very cool. Ahmed can skateboard very well, but he can't swim. He's crazy about computers and his favourite computer game is Spore. He's got another best friend, his pet rabbit, Buck. This is Ahmed. That's the name. He mentions the name. 11 years old. He mentions the age. Short, slim, dark hair, brown eyes. That's how he looks. Can skateboard what he can do crazy about he loves computers and his favorite computer game favorite computer game yes 
Take that. Spore. That's a video game. He's got another best friend. Another means someone else. More. One more friend. His pet rabbit. That's the pet. Buck is the name of the rabbit. Now talk in pairs about your best friend. One of you asks the questions, and then the other answers. Who is your best friend? Selma. How old is she? She is 13. What does she look like? She is chubby, and she's got long fair hair. What can or can't she do? She can paint very well. But she can't draw. What's her favorite subject or computer game or sport? I will talk about the favorite subject. Her favorite subject is English. Has she got a pet? You can answer with either yes or no. You can say she hasn't got a pet or she's got a pet parrot. Flint. Flint is the name of the parrot. Now look, Richard and Mike. Mike is tall, tall, and has got dark hair. Richard has got dark hair, but he's not tall. We use and to join similar ideas, tall and dark hair. Richard, dark hair, but not tall. Opposite ideas. Every time you use but, that means you have opposite ideas or different ideas. And similar. Now read and complete the sentences with and or but. Brad is 14 years old. He is from the UK. We have similar ideas. And. Omar's got a skateboard. He hasn't got rollerblades. Opposites. But. Rima is tall and slim. Donald's crazy about pets. He's got three parrots. And. Tina isn't good at geography. She isn't good. She's not good. But she is good at science. Opposite ideas. Now use the notes below to write a paragraph about your best friend. Use the information from activity B. Now you have already talked about your best friend. Use the information here when you write about your friend. But first, go to page 129 in your workbook and complete the plan. When you write, don't write short sentences. Join your sentences. When you join, you make two sentences, one, using and or but. Let's go to page 129. This is page 129. Complete the plan using information from activity B. Use this information. Now let's get back to writing our paragraph. Use the notes and use the information from the plan. My best friend. My best friend's name is Selma and she is 13 years old. She is short and chubby. She's got long fair hair and brown eyes. She can paint very well, but she can't draw. She's crazy about school. She loves school. And her favorite subject is English. She's got a pet parrot. His name is Flint. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please share it with friends. I will leave you now with the workbook exercises. I'll catch you in the next video, inshallah. Until then, thank you and goodbye.